Welcome back to our channel Machinery and Technology. Today we have a truly electrifying topic to dive into. Generator testing and repair. Generators are used to convert mechanical energy into the electrical energy. And they are critical components in various industries and applications. Including power generation, industrial plants, hospitals, data centers and more. When a generator motor experiences issues or shows signs of wear and tear, Repairs are necessary to prevent downtime and costly replacement. So if you're ready to spark your curiosity, let's dive right in. If you are not a generator specialist, the things you probably need to know about estate or wages are that they hold estate or bars in the iron. There are lots of them, and they can loosen from age unusual or persistent vibration, which interrupts electrical contact, leading to spark erosion testing them for the tightness and are labor intensive, and rave aging, if necessary, can extend the outage by up to 8 to 10 shifts. Stator in a widening resonance and high level of fan widening vibration are a significant issue that affects many generators and can lead to premature conductor stand fatigue, cracking, arcing and eventual failure. This can occur because of insufficient or faulty bracing system, a lack of bracing or blocking materials, or loose or dry ties. In many cases, loose and windings have areas of dusting and grassing. Dusting typically is observed as a white area, caused by insulation material particles. They have abraded away. Grazing is a similar. The insulation part is from dusting mixed with oil, forming a grace-like substance. In some cases, visual evidence of high vibration levels cannot be observed. This is often true in the phase leads the jointed and bending serious connection in the bias rings. Further, because of the many layers of tape, conductor cracking can occur without any outward sign until a Ford's outage occurs. Stator and winding dusting vibration and resonance can be highly influenced by winding geometry. One example is the stator bars that have long extension of overhangs cantilever from the end of the stator core. If not supported properly, these extended portions can experience high levels of vibration because of the high electromagnetic forces. The two key monitoring and diagnostic tools are needed to fully evaluate and correct the state or binding, vibration and resonance. These include a state or binding resonance, or bump test, and vibration monitoring with transducers.
Concluding remarks, stator and winding vibration deterioration has been a major concern in large turbine generator windings for many years. Efforts to improve and winding performance have been hampered by lack of instrumentation capable of safely and conveniently measuring and winding vibration levels of generators in service. Such instrumentation is now available, and along with end winding bomb testing, proactive steps can be taken to mitigate start and fading resonance and high vibration levels. As more inviting vibration data for given generator sizes and types are made known, realistic vibration level resonance acceptance criteria will undoubtedly become standard. Acceptance criteria for both the bump test and inviting vibration levels were mentioned here, but many variations as much type and design exist. These variances can influence the acceptance criteria and accepted results. Each generator should be treated individually. It is necessary to perform a combination of tests and inspections to avoid issues related to the state or inviting resonance and high vibrations. Here are some common aspects of generator motor repairs. Diagnosis. The first step in generator motor repair is a diagnosis to problem. This may involve visual inspections, electric testing and analysis of the generator's performance data to identify the root cause of the issue. Disassembly. Depending on the severity of the problem, the generator motor may need to be disassembled to access the repair damage components. This should be done by trained technicians who are familiar with the specific generator models. Component replacement. Faulty or worn out components such as bearings, brushes, stator, rotors, windings, and control system may need to be replaced to restore the generator's functionality. Replacement parts should meet the manufacturer's specification. Winding repairs. Generator windings can suffer from insulation breakdown, overheating, and other issues. Rewinding or repairing the windings may be necessary to restore electrical integrity and efficiency. Alignment and balancing. Proper alignment and balancing of the generator rotors in stator are crucial to prevent excessive wear and vibration, which can lead to further damage. Testing and collaboration. After repairs are completed, the generator motor should undergo strict testing to ensure it meets performance standards and safety regulations. This includes electrical testing, insulation resistant testing, load testing, and calibration of control system. Preventive maintenance. To avoid future issues, regular preventive maintenance is essential. This includes routine inspections, cleaning lubrication and monitoring of key parameters. 
documentation, keeping detailed records of all repairs, maintenance activities, and testing results, it's important for tracking the generator's history and ensuring compliance with safety regulations. Safety precautions, generator and motor repair work can be hazardous due to high voltage electricity and rotating machinery. Safety protocols, personal protective equipment and trained personnel are critical to prevent accidents. It's important to note that the generator motor repairs should ideally be performed by qualified technicians or specialized service providers with expertise in generator maintenance and repair. Additionally, some generator warranties may require repairs to be carried out by authorized service centers to maintain coverage. Regular maintenance and prompt repairs can extend the lifespan of generators, reduce downtime, and ensure the reliability of backup power system in critical applications.